no, in fact, we're not ostracizing parents from their own students. We, it's our children. We want them to be involved every single day, every single moment. Absolutely. However, we have to remain clear that we have students that don't go home to save families. Unfortunately, that, you know, we have still examples of conversion therapy. We still have examples of kids coming to school with bruising, right? Or self-harm where they don't feel they can talk to their parents. Our hope is to actually start that conversation, which I've had many times with students where I go, how can we bring this to your parents, right? What's a way to bring this so that we can all be in this conversation? But just like if a student is abused at home, we have to report that. We have a duty to report, legally speaking. So we're not trying to change kids. We're not trying to tell them what to be or what not to be. Uh, We are simply trying to engage them as the human beings they are and hopefully have that full family support. And so what I'm hearing is, in the only circumstance where there would be a disconnect from the child yeah. and their parents yeah. would be when the household is somewhat unsafe, Absolutely. right? When authorities have to get involved or Absolutely. there's issues of abuse, right? Absolutely. And and in a world where we see the abuse of, of children, the exploitation, the sextortion of children, we've lost two young teens not too long ago in the past year in mm-hmm. Surrey and Delta, that it, we have to believe our children. We have to believe them if, if they don't feel comfortable, if there's an unsafe measure. So I think that only adds to the equation of looking at it like, how do we make families stronger? You know, how can we give them resources? So G123 is a resource for parents as much as it is for schools, right? right?